<clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, all right. Uh, my batteries died, so I'm doing this again. Uh, I really want to thank uh, Dave Gibson once again, a uh, good friend of mine. And I really want to uh, give a shout out to everyone who commented and subscribed um, from my last and first uh, video. It's been really great. Uh, all the, the love coming my way right back at you guys. Uh, I went on a little excursion today and picked up some records. So um, I usually don't show, I don't want to show records that I haven't heard, but I'm really excited about the records that I got. And I was kind of texting with Dave back and forth, and I said, you know what? I'll just make a video and uh, you can see what all I got. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, Tijuana Jazz, Gary McFarlane and Company with Clark Terry on Impulse Stereo. Here you go. Um, recorded 1965, very good condition. Uh, all this stuff I'm going to show you is pretty dirty. A little upside down, get you a little pan here. A little upside down uh, gatefold, which I think is interesting. Um, got some good players, uh, I guess. Actually, uh, Grady Tate, Mel Lewis, um, Joe Newman some other folks. Uh, looks like we got an original impulse sleeve here. And uh, nice labels. Uh, record's really clean. Um, I gotta clean all this stuff. I think I said that before. Um, I'm gonna really ram through this because I, I got quite a few. Uh, Cedar Walton animation from 1970. Whoops. I saw it. I'll find it here in a minute. Um, 78. Got my man here on the back looking smooth with a wristwatch. Wristwatch is classy, folks. Don't don't give up on the wristwatch. I like Bulova. If anyone wants to send me one. <laughs> uh, oh, got a promo here. Uh, here he goes on Columbia. Looking pretty good. Um, J is for jazz. J.J. Johnson Quintet. I love me some J.J. Johnson. Um, there's not much stuff of his that I've gotten that I have not liked. Uh, this is, looks like an original mono. No sleeve or anything. Uh, it's six eye. It's got some minor scratches. Should play just fine. Uh, it's the J.J. Johnson Quintet. Uh, I forgot to tell you uh, who was playing on that Cedar Walton. Um, uh, it'd be hard for me to find who's on this, actually. Um, so, uh, the Cedar Walton was um, uh, Bob Berg, Steve Turr, Tom, Tony Dumas, Buddy Williams, Al Foster, Paulino da Costa, uh, on percussion. Yeah. Um, getting these mixed up. All right. Uh, this is some really fun stuff for me. Uh, I was born in 74. Oh, yeah, I'm old, folks. Second album, new edition, All for Love. Uh, this is awesome stuff. Bobby Brown, back in the day. Before he got big. Uh, this is fantastic stuff, folks. You guys are dropping the ball if you don't know about some new edition. Got the original sleeve. Count me out. Man, I'm telling you, this is great. Um, if I'm dorking out on new edition, give me all the shit you want. I love these guys. Uh, pretty good condition. Uh, should play just fine. Okay, I got this uh, Paul Williams Classics. Uh, this is a joke. I have a cousin by the same name and I buy these for him and he puts them in his office. And uh, I got him a, a, a push button phone with like different lines on it and I wanted to put, him, put it in his office and anytime someone comes in he doesn't want to talk to, I said just tell him hold on, 
I gotta call online too and like make sure that they can see that it's actually not plugged in and it'll be hilarious. Uh, we got a original sleeve there, the old Paul Williams. Uh, <laughs> this is horrible stuff. I've listened to some of it. Uh, oh, it is terrible. But uh, it's, I bought it for the right reasons. Family first. Uh, we got a U2 October. Pretty decent copy. A couple of creases on the front cover. Um, probably not the original sleeve. I imagine it probably came with something. It's on Island Records. It's a kind of a thin pressing here. I picked up another U2, picked up a copy of War. Uh, I, I just picked all this stuff up. I'm not sure what press any of this stuff is. Uh, this is the gatefold. Got our picture of them in the snow, chilling out, doing the U2 thing, looking very artsy and very serious at the same time. Uh, not an original sleeve here, probably. Uh, record extremely clean. Here you go. And if maybe I'll do an update on this stuff to see which presses that I got once I have time to go through this stuff and take a look. Um, uh, Talking Heads, more songs about buildings and food. 1978, Sire Records. Here you go. Kind of excited about this. Uh, I don't think I've ever heard this. Um, so interesting, inter interested to uh, listen to this and see what it's all about. We got the original sleeve. Uh, who doesn't like the talking heads? So it's, uh, it's good stuff. Side one for you, side two. Hope I got this stuff in the right frame here. I'm going kind of fast. Uh, picked up another talking heads, uh, Speaking Tongues. Here you go. Uh, this is from 1983 on Sire Records. Here's the back. Uh, this one does have original sleeve as well. Mm, got some cool liner notes there. Uh, here you go. Side A, B, and all, all this stuff is clean. Man, I, I, I got really lucky. Uh, I think the J.J. Johnson was really the only one that has some scratches. All right, you guys need to get ready for this one. Um, <clears throat> Angel. Look at this shit. All right, look at this back cover. It's like happy. Well, we got some shit going on down there at the bottom that could mess with their physiques. Uh, and then we got some serious carnage going on on the back. It's like Red Dawn. Uh, <laughs> all right, I mean, you guys know, well, you don't know, but I bought this just because this guy's name is Punky Meadows. Look at that, I hope you can see that. Punky Meadows, are you kidding me? That is a fantastic name. Um, here are the guys in their real leotards. I mean, I hope this is as terrible as it looks or I'm gonna be disappointed. Um, hopefully it's an original press, Casablanca Records, <laughs> White Hot, that's the name of the album. There you go, so excited about this. Fear Not, also in here. <laughs> I have the Earth Force on the Rise fan club advertisement. Look at this shit. Look at those shirts. I gotta get one of the, I'm, I'm sending in, I'm mailing these guys. If I get a reply, um, it, it's just gonna be over. Um, <laughs> it's just gonna be done. Um, things will start to happen, I guess. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. Um, Herbie Hancock, VSOP. It's on Columbia. Uh, what year is this? 77. Uh, the players on this look great. Uh, it's like four different lineups, I think. 
uh, I think it was live or something. Uh, yeah, 76 at New York City Center by George Wynn as part of the Newport Jazz Festival. Uh, we got a big old gatefold cover here. Check that out. Um, I'll pull out maybe. Wish I had some original sleeves, but that's fine. Uh, this stuff's very clean as well. It's not Herb Hancock. We're, we're past the Herb stuff. This is well into him being a badass. Not that he wasn't a badass before, but you know what I mean. Uh, probably able to dress more eclectic and get away with it. Or maybe he started early, who knows. Um, side one, side two. Uh, very clean. Like I said, it's dirty, but this will all clean up. I got a special uh, 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 way to clean records. Uh, it's not really that special. It's very easy with a simple product you can buy in the store. I might make a video on that later. Uh, just, I think that a lot of people get crazy. Oh, how do I do it? How much? How long? Don't do this. Don't do that. Uh, I don't really think it's that complicated. I use a, a cleaning product you can buy in the stores. And I got a little method, and it's really fast, and it works extremely well. Uh, so, uh, Tony Williams, Freddie Hubbard, Wayne Shorter, Ron Carter, side one and two. Side three, uh, Billy Hart, Benny Maupin, Buster Williams, Julian Priester, Eddie Henderson. Side four, uh, Kenneth Nash, Wawa Watson, Ray Parker Jr., Paul Jackson, and Benny Maupin, and James Levi. Uh, that's a That's a bunch of guys, uh, some of some of them I haven't heard of, so I'm going to be interested to see how that all sounds. Uh, okay, uh, this is a, a, a different place I was at. We got some really good uh, rock stuff. In Excess, Listen Like Thieves, uh, 1985. Looks like a pretty good copy. Uh, that's a little beat up, but not bad. It's a gatefold. In excess, looking cool as always. Do my little pan here so you guys can see. Um, got original sleeve here. Looking good. Got the color coordination going. I appreciate that. Oh, that's side one, side two. Uh, I've been getting into In Excess lately. Um, you know. I told you guys when I was born, so I'm of the MTV era. Man, they played the hell out of some NXS over and over. Uh, but it was still good, somehow. All right, we got uh, uh, Lionel Hampton and Stan Getz. Hampton Getz on Norm, uh, Norgran Records. Take it out of the sleeve. Sorry about that. Probably some glare on that. There we go. Supervised by Norman Granz. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be orchestrated, but I kind of looked at it and it didn't seem like it was. I mean, it's only got three songs on the first side and two on the second. Usually a good sign. The songs are longer. They're just jamming. Uh, long playing micro groove. Um, what does it say about this? It was recorded in... Um, Oh man, uh, I read it on here. Actually, it's this is not on here. Um, it probably is. I just forgot to read through. Uh, so we got a um, uh, Shelly Mann on drums, Lou Levy on piano, and Leroy Vinegar on bass. Vinegar, your last name is Vinegar. You're gonna destroy the bass. Uh, very excited to uh, hear this. Uh, I don't mind me some Stan Getz. All right. If you're into songwriting, you better be into Madonna. Excellent stuff here. Uh, True Blue. I might have had that upside down. Sorry about that. Uh, that's probably the way I'm supposed to show that right there. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, Madonna. Uh, what can I say? My favorite Madonna album, Ray of Light. Uh, got original sleeve. 
kind of banging through these, so bear with me. Uh, here you go. Got some Papa Don't Preach on there. Live to tell. Can't wait to hear this. Uh, here's here's my deal with Madonna. Uh, I haven't really gotten into her stuff after Ray of Light, but her early stuff, man, if you are a musician or not, or whatever, if you enjoy songwriting, uh, her stuff is amazing. Uh, what can I say? It, it is good stuff, especially the earlier stuff, but Ray of Light is, forget it, uh, incredible. Uh, go get that if you see it. Uh, I've never seen it. I think I've seen it on vinyl, but very rare. Uh, Willis Jackson, shucking. Kenny Burrell, Tommy Flanagan, Montego Joe, Roy Haynes. Stereo copy here on Prestige. Uh, wait till you see this label. It's really neat. Um, uh, this was uh, 1963, WDASFM, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, Rudy Van Gelder recorded it, and Ozzy Kadena supervised. Uh, okay, Jose Paulo's on this, Eddie Calhoun, Juan Amalbert, Conga and Timbales, uh, and the other guys that I uh, mentioned. Uh, I think this has some, no, just a generic sleeve. Uh, cool prestige label. This is called Bossa Nova Plus. It doesn't say that on the front. But these are the same uh, songs. I don't know if somebody's mixed this up. Maybe you guys can tell me. But it's the same songs. You know, I've seen where they do these later pressings of this stuff. This is called Shuckin', but it's the same songs. So I'm wondering if uh, the earlier or later version uh, that was called Bossa Nova got put in here. Uh, who knows? Uh, anyway, uh, I've been getting into a little bit of Willis Jackson. Got a couple of his stuff. Um, I, I have I have barely heard these guys. We got craft work here. Um, Ralph, uh, this is Vertigo. Uh, this is from 1975. Uh, I'll show you that again. That was kind of quick. Good clean copy, looks like to me. This is on, oh, it's on Vertigo Records. Uh, the, I guess the name of the album is Ralph and Florian. Um, I may be wrong, I don't know. Yeah, I guess they're just titling it after their names. Cool, I dig that. Here you go. There's that there. We got this cool sleeve here uh, with some uh, different types of uh, music that you can get through Mercury, Phillips, and Vertigo. Let me take a look at that. That's kind of neat. And then it's got some uh, little bios of 10cc Ohio players and Botman Turner Overdrive on the back. Um, I'll I'll read that when I have a couple of beers. Not that I need a couple of beers to read, but <laughs> oh yeah, all right. Okay, Hank Snow. I shouldn't tell you this because I don't want anybody to get any. I want it all for myself. Uh, but Hank Snow is the frickin' man. Uh, he is a country, old country singer. Uh, and this is called When Tragedy Struck. Uh, if you don't know about Hank Snow, uh, he did other people's songs. But his songs are very funny. Uh, some of these songs are called... the. Uh, the Prisoner's Prayer, The Drunkard's Child, uh, Don't Make Me Go to Bed and I'll Be Good. Yep. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what that meant. Okay, I get it. Uh, there's a little box of pine on the 729. I'm here to get my baby out of jail. Uh, just some of the samplings of uh, what's on here. Uh, this is on RCA Victor. Um, so I showed you the front. That's the back. Uh, this is old school sounding country. Just a dude and his guitar. I think he's got other musicians sometimes. It's just amazing stuff. I mean, turn back time, sit back and just, this is really good stuff. Uh, if, uh, go on the internet, uh, uh, type in Hank Snow, uh, listen to some of his albums that it's his music. 
uh, you won't be disappointed. Now this is kind of my find of the day here. Uh, Def Leopard High and Dry. Uh, extremely excited to find this. I never see Def Leopard anymore. Uh, I played this uh, before I bought it. Uh, the original sleeve looks like it's gone, which is kind of a bummer. But, I mean, it's high and dry. But this is an amazing album. Uh, any of the old Def Leppard, like from Pyromania, which is one of the best albums ever made, in my opinion, uh, way ahead of its time. Uh, but Pyromania, uh, High and Dry, uh, what's the other one? Uh, there's another older one, it's slipping my mind right now, but th those, those first three records, I think I'm right, are, are, are great. Um, that's my score for the day. Uh, once again, I want to really thank everybody for all the all the love and all the, the support, uh, the comments. I've enjoyed all of it, and uh, I hope to make another video soon. And uh, you guys have a good one.